What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of GCS Gaming Common Sense, and this is DJ from the DJ Gaming Channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to install an OS or operating system on your USB flash drive or your external hard drive. I wouldn't recommend installing one of these on your external hard drive just because there's better stuff you can do with an external hard drive than just install a like a four gigabyte operating system on it. And, and since they generally come in like 500 gigabytes or higher. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to install this using a program called Universal USB Installer. To get this, I'm going to link you to the page to get this. And I don't know why that's messed up, but anyways, I'm going to put this link up on the YouTube on YouTube for you to download it. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and click Download UUI, and it should automatically download. And when you download it, I suggest I would suggest like putting it on the desktop just so you can find it easier. There's no real reason that I'm telling you this other than for easy convenience of finding it. You can put it really anywhere and it'll work. Okay, so first thing you want to do after it's downloaded, which mine's already downloaded, you want to double click it, of course, to open a program. And today I'm going to be installing Kali Linux, a, a live version on this. So just, you know, just because I've been wanting to do it and I figured I'd you know this is the best chance to do it was on a video teaching you guys how to do stuff next after you select whatever version of whatever you're using like it even has fedora on here as like most operating systems if if it doesn't have your operating system then you'll have to figure out uh which operating system it's going to be using and you'll probably have to use something that's similar to it say like if it didn't have Kali on here i would just try to use backtrack or if it didn't have either one of those, I would try like I don't know Ubuntu or something, since they're the since they're Linux. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to browse your drives and find your your ISO that you want to use. I'm going to be using Kali Linux, so I'm just going to find the live ISO and I'm going to do a cutaway right here just to speed everything up. Next thing you want to do after you found Kali Linux in your drives. You want to find what USB flash drive you're going to use or USB drive you want to use. Mine's going to be the N drive, which is this, the UUI 7 gigabytes. It's already been pre-named by, the, by these people just because I've done it before uh, when I installed other stuff on my computer. And then you want to select to format it. It says we'll format your drive. And to make sure everything's right, just look down it and make sure everything's correct to your computer. And then you just hit create. And then it'll ask you again, are you sure you want to do it? And you just hit yes. Now I'm going to do a cutaway right here. And I'll start it back up when it's done. Okay, it should be about done now. And the process is complete. Uh, now what you want to do is just close it right here. And I'm going to set up my camera and I'm going to show you how to install it. Like uh, using the USB thumb drive or USB flash drive. And I'll be right back. Okay, as soon as you you're ready, you can hit shut down. Like everything's done, you can hit shut down on your computer, and just wait for it to start restarting. I know this is kind of close up, but uh, this is the only thing I'm gonna get with my new gaming room I have. Okay, as soon as everything starts up, you wanna on startup you wanna hit F eight, which is the normal command for most computers. If you if that's not your computer you need to look it up. I'm not gonna tell you every single command for every computer. Just try F eight. If it doesn't work, just look up your computer. And F what F eight does, it brings up the device list. I'm gonna press it right now. And it should bring up the device list. Uh, Yep, this is the boot device list. And what you want to do is you want to select the flash drive that you're going to be using. And it should bring up whatever you have on your flash drive. If you're running a, going to be running a live CD or whatever, it should just bring it up. And you can go from there. And I'm going to just go ahead and select the live AMD64 because it's the live Kali Linux. And 
the reason you want to, or the good thing about Live Disk is you can run things like this, like Kali Linux, and you don't actually have to install it on the computer. So if you want to install it on computers without people knowing, things like that. And another thing about running USB flash drives is it's not using your hardware, so it doesn't have that constant laser moving like if you ever run a live CD you can hear the laser constantly working the entire time you're running the the live CD and that's kind of something you don't really want you don't want to use up hardware that you have it's easier to replace a USB flash drive than it is to replace a CD or DVD drive so that's pretty much all the benefits that you have plus it's faster than a live CD if you run from flash drive and as you see it booted up fine didn't have any problems and you can use any program off here you can use any of the hard drives and like Catalina Linux isn't the only uh, live CD to have it's just got the most utilities for me and I would I would say you could get you guys should try it out if you have a flash drive as well it's a pretty good program and that's my video if you like it subscribe thumbs up this video if you like this uh, this is DJ from the DJ Gaming Channel. Thanks for watching.